Tattoos have literally been leaving their mark on people and cultures across the world for centuries. There is a 5,000-year-old mummy discovered near the current Italy-Austria border, known as Utzi the Iceman, that still had 61 distinguishable tattoos on his body. The tattoos he had just so happened to line up with a lot of points commonly used in acupuncture. Since Utzi and his apparent medicinal tattoos, tattoos have developed into a huge, varied form of expression within cultures across the world. They're obviously here to stay culturally, but how is it that they seem to last forever in your skin? First things first, let's make sure we understand how tattoos are even applied. Most tattooing is done with multiple needles attached to one bar connected to the machine. The needles may be assembled in a straight line, in a circle, or stacked on top of each other. It all depends on the needs of that specific piece. Ink isn't being injected into your skin from the needles. Rather, the ink flows down the needles once they pierce through to the dermis. Now let's take a look at the skin where tattoos live. The skin is made up of three layers. The epidermis, the dermis where the hair follicle and sweat glands are, and the hypodermis. In that middle layer, the dermis, is where the magic happens with tattooing. And by magic, I mean the body's battle against the ink that you had shot into your skin. Once the ink is inside your skin, what happens next? That's when the wonders of biology come into play. The reason your tattoo sticks around so long is all thanks to the immune system. When all that ink gets injected deep into your dermis, it's creating a wound. When your body realizes it's under attack, the immune system fires up and starts trying to defend you. It sends out certain white blood cells called macrophages, the goal of these little cells is to find the attacker, swallow it, and take it away to destroy it. The problem is, though, the particles of the pigment are too large to be taken away, so the macrophages kind of just end up stuck there in the dermis with a belly full of pigment, leaving you with a tattoo that'll last a lifetime, and then some.